kids during spring football to have them kind of look at the campus and your program? Uh, yeah, we, we want them on campus as, as often as they can get here, you know, and uh, I think it's good for all the, the uh, recruits to, to get in and to watch practice, sit in meetings, and, and get a good feel for how, how we practice, how coaches coach. I think it's, it's good for them and, and help them on their decision making. You obviously had a lot of ground to make up with the 18 class, but did you guys still have a lot of ground to kind of make up with the 19 class too, just because? Oh uh, yeah, because we because of the situation of getting here in in, in December and, and not having a lot of recruits, so you had to focus on on the 18 guys and and knowing that we had a little time to, to work with the 19 guys and um, that's going well and um, they're, they're coming on campus from a lot of different places and that's a good thing. Did you guys have a transition of where you were? Kind of had to not necessarily change your direction from West Coast recruits to back to East Coast and Florida recruits. Let's say that again. Did you guys have to kind of change your philosophy and how you approach recruits from the West Coast back to East Coast and Florida now because of the, the new job? Uh, no, I would I would say change our approach. We we do what we've been doing wherever we've been, and uh, and again, it's just building a relationship and selling your vision on what you want to do with the program, and 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 hopefully the kids want to be a part of what you're building. Two weeks in, a little more than halfway. Is there anything you know now that you didn't know two weeks ago about your um, team? Uh, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. I mean, these guys are learning and, and they're getting better. And I already, I already knew we had some good players. You know, um, I would say uh, from a depth standpoint um, at the receiver position, I mean, we moved some guys around and trying to trying to help ourselves there, but. Um, that's some good players, and, and they love competing. They want to learn. They want to get better, and, and, and that's a great thing for us. You Coach. still know it's two and a half weeks in. Like I don't like people standing behind me. Can you okay. slide over? <laughs> <laughs> Watch it. Sorry. You kind of know it's two and a half weeks in, like with the new staff, that players, things they might have been yelled at in the past, that they're still looking over their shoulders where you guys have a different approach? Uh, no. I mean, in Every coaching staff is different, and, and people um, go about teaching and, and, like I say, coaching different. But uh, I said, our guys been very, very receptive to us and what we're doing, and that's what we do. And we have to do something to do it, and try to do it to the best of your ability. And, and that's what we want to do, and not worry about making mistakes or anything. But go out and play football, and if they make a mistake, it's, it's on us to teach them, you know. And yelling at them is not going to teach them anything. Um, we, got, we got to teach. I hate all the yelling. You know, that's, Part of the music too. You don't have to hear coaches yelling all the time. You know, um, we got to teach the kids, and, and, and that's why we're here. So, uh, now if they don't give us great effort, then they they deserve to be yelled at. You know, but um, if they don't know what they're doing, then that's on us, and we got to teach them. How much of the film session still on teaching and technique? Oh, it's going to be that way for a while. I mean, that's an everyday thing. I, that don't ever stop. You got to always teach the fundamentals and techniques of doing things and now guys are still learning. I mean, they're not going to learn the, the entire system offense, defense, and defensively or special team um, and, until until the fall. You know, So every day is a, um, a learning process and, and, and from a technique and fundamental standpoint, we we got to preach that every single day and make sure our guys doing exactly how we're, we're teaching them to do it. Well, Trey, Trey McKinney's a guy you obviously had a relationship with before and mm -hmm. hope to get when you're out there. How excited were you when you got this job? Part of it to get to coach him and, and see what he can um, do. I told Trey, I'm glad you done um, burning the bridges. You know, <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Uh, <laughs> no, I, it's, uh, it was cool. I mean, it was great. You know, you knew what you was getting. You know, we wanted him when he had committed to Oregon and got the job there. And uh, unfortunately, uh, didn't get him there. But it's just funny how things change and you know, how things happen. And uh, but you know what kind of player you're getting. And uh, being here this spring and watching him go out there and compete um, kind of solidify your thoughts on what you can do with him. Coach, is Marvin Wilson banged up? What's his yeah, he is. Uh, Marvin, uh, he tore his MCL and he'll be out the rest of spring. Uh, but uh, he'll be back soon. Is tight end one of those positions where you can create some mismatches matches on the field? Um, you can, you know, and it's one of those positions to where. Um, you can utilize them in a lot of different places, and we try to. You know, you'll see our tight ends on the in the backfield. You'll see them attached on the line. Um, you see them split out uh, wide, and um, tight ends are very critical to our offense and what we like to do. And, um, and like you say, we can uh, create a lot of mismatch in certain situations.
How are guys at that position generally acclimated to it? Because like you said, there's just so many different things that they can do there. Uh, they come they come along really well. You know, um, I think our coaches are doing a good job. Coach Lockett is doing a good, good job of teaching our guys and, and them understanding where they need to be, you know. But a big part is just understanding the concepts of what we're doing. And, and then it doesn't matter where we put, put them at, then they understand how to, how to get it done. Time for a couple more. Are you at any sort of point right now in spring where you want to see certain guys playing alongside each other so they can develop that chemistry later on? No, we, we don't play until September, so we have a lot of time right now. I want guys to compete and, and show that, they, uh, that they're that they ready to compete at a high level like we want them to, you know, and that's every single day. And uh, we're not going to make any final decision on anybody until uh, we, we're sure that that's exactly what uh, we need at those positions. Coach with Marvin Wilson, how good was he doing this spring? And awesome. He? he was doing awesome. Great kid. Um, Going to be a great leader for our football team. And he was working his tail off. He had lost some weight. Um, he's running around really good. Um, hated for him, but if there's anybody to bounce back, it would be Marvin. And, and luckily, he won't miss the season. So that's, that's great news for us.